Beauty. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when starting your cut crease is prime your lids. You can definitely use an eyeshadow primer, but I love to use a concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. Because it is such a light color, it's going to make shadows pop, and it's also going to last all day because this is a full coverage matte concealer. I'm going to go over it with the Urban Decay Ultra Definition Pressed Powder, and this is going to make everything blend a lot more seamlessly than just leaving it by itself. So I'm using my favorite shadows today. I'm using all Makeup Geek. I just love these shadows. They are my absolute favorite, and I recommend them to you guys. So I'm using this on a Sigma E40 brush. This is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, and this is going to be our transition shade today. So just pop this right in your crease first, and you're going to go over it with Tuscan Sun. I'm using this on a Luxie 227 brush, and I'm basically just winging this out into the crease. As you can see, I'm not really dragging it in that far. I'm concentrating the color in the outer V of my eye and keeping this pretty high up into the crease. I really want to make this dramatic, so I'm winging it out pretty far, so when we cut it later, it looks very, very dramatic. So next I'm going to pick up Cabin Fever by Makeup Geek, and I'm using this on a Sonia Kashuk brush, and we're going to start creating this crease. Now because I have somewhat hooded eyes, I always have to over-exaggerate my crease, and that is the key with this look, is you always want to make your crease really pop and go above your natural crease line. So you don't want to go up too far, but you want to go up far enough that when you look straight, you can see the crease. So that's exactly what I'm doing, and I'm just going right over Tuscan Sun and darkening this up. So next I'm going back in with the 227 Luxie brush, and there's nothing on this brush just left over from what I used before. All I'm doing is blending and making everything look seamless. You're going to be blending a lot with this look, so don't be afraid to really take your time. So next I'm going in with Bada Bing by Make It Geek on a Real Techniques detailed brush. And we're going to start making this even more dramatic. So I'm layering this color into the outer V of my eye where the crease wing is. And I'm just going to darken this up to really define it. It's going to look very prominent and like not blend at all. But that's exactly what you want because you're going to go back in with the Sigma short shader and blend upward. So you always want to blend up. Don't drag any of these colors down or it's going to make the eyes look not as lifted. And you're not going to get that cut crease look that you really want. So always blend upwards. The next shadow we're picking up is Corrupt by Makeup Geek, and this is a black shadow. We're going to use this to define everything. We're going in the outer wing of the crease, just the outer area of it. We're not bringing it in too far. This is just going to add a little bit of definition, so just add that in and blend out using the Sigma shader. You're going to want to fade this color up into the other shades. This look is all about fading colors into each other and making them look very gradient, so that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm keeping this very high up, and I'm not dragging it down. I'm also winging it out so we get a really dramatic cut crease next. So now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape again and we're going to cut the lid. You want to bring this up right against the darkest shade and wing it out so you get a nice shape going. And this is great for doing cut creases because it is full coverage and it's matte. And if you get it in the right shade that is lighter than your skin tone, it's going to really pop and make your lid look huge. So now I'm pressing in the Press Shadow by Makeup Geek in Sorbet. This is a peachy nude. It's about four shades lighter than my skin tone, just for reference. And as you can see, it really makes your lid pop. It makes it look huge. And that's what using this light color on the lid really does. So next I'm adding in Definition That Was Lost by adding in that color Sorbet. This is normal when you add in that color Sorbet. It's really going to kind of take away from the black that you applied because it is so close. So just go ahead and add that back in before you take your next step. So I'm going to go back in with Sorbet and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. I just love this color because it makes everything look very lifted and as you can see it really lifts up the eye. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner. I love to do like a baby wing when I'm doing a cut crease because I want to keep this open and I don't want to close it off. So I do something that really follows the crease shape and I keep it pretty small for the most part. So now I'm going to add in the Makeup Geek Obsidian Liner to the lower lashes. I'm just lightly smudging this out using Tuscan Sun. And I'm just going to blend this right into those lower lashes and go over it with the shade Bada Bing by Makeup Geek. I press this right up against the waterline almost and this is going to make our eyes look really big because we're going to add in a nude liner. And my favorite nude liner to use is the Fake Awake Liner by Tarte. And this is a very nice nude color that keeps your eyes open and awake. Now that the eye makeup's done, you could add in mascara, and I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time. It's just so good, and it's a go-to for me. So I'm also going to add in some rhinestones just for fun. I really thought it looked very pretty and made this look very glam. And I'm also going to add on these Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. These are very, very nice for cut creases because they don't cover up the eye makeup. They just accentuate it without covering anything up, and they're also really beautiful. 
All right, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this how to cut crease video. And if you did, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you all in my next tutorial.